up the lodge this week. Yeah, yeah. We're having a big drought up here. Uh, hasn't rained in a long, long time. The fountain down at City Hall is blowing smoke and the bird baths have switched to dry cleaning. Now, Uncle Red, yeah, yeah. Well, I had, a, I had a, like a canteen hidden in my room. Yeah, I told you to not to tell anybody. Unfortunately, you'd already told me, so. <laughs> you drank the water! No, 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 not, no, no, the possum van did, Harold. Well, she was overheating like crazy. It was going to turn into an espresso machine in there. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, you don't want to seize that engine. Yes, I do. <laughs> that engine's the reason we don't have an ozone. Th this drought is the fault of you guys, you know, in your emissions. <laughs> Harold, the ozone doesn't make it rain. Oh, no? What does the ozone do, Uncle Red? The ozone filters the sun's rays so the earth doesn't fry up like a burrito. And rain is caused by the evaporation of water. Which doesn't work around here because technically Possum Lake is not water. Hey, Harold, it's a liquid. That's close enough, all right? <laughs> it's a blob. It's jelly. We don't have waves. We have undulations. This whole thing, you know, it's your fault, you know, because you've been throwing, like, vehicles and lawnmowers and chainsaws in there for the past 50 years. You know what, Harold? I think for the first time ever, you're absolutely, you could be, and, and I think we're, it doesn't really matter who's right and who's wrong. You know what? All we have to do to fix the whole thing is make it rain. No! What? No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah. No, you don't need to make it rain. What? You need to ask for professional help. You should talk. <laughs> Harold? We created the problem, we're going to create the solution. That's called being a man. Yeah, well, I don't think I want to be a man. Looks like you're safe. Well, I've been doing some research on how to make it rain. Went down to our local public library. Was ever quiet in there? <laughs> I looked up cloud seeding. Apparently, all you gotta do is fire some chemicals up into the clouds, and bingo, you got rain. You know. <laughs> so I built myself a little cannon. <laughs> emptied about a thousand shotgun shells in there. Put in a wireless detonator so that I can stand well back when I fire it off with my TV remote. <laughs> Just got one more chemical to stick in here and we'll be good to go. I should never leave you unsupervised. Harold, you can call me the rain man. I I'm an excellent driver, e excellent driver. <laughs> You bang your head on something, Harold? No, that's from the movie The Rain Man. Oh, I don't like any movies that were made after 1959. Oh, no, no, there was one. Duct tape something. <laughs> Check this out, Harold. All I gotta do is fire my cannon, send the chemicals up on top of those clouds out there, and see I got the fire end attached to that tree with no branches on it. That's not a tree! No. That's a high-tension electric pole! <laughs> You know, they see clouds with airplanes. I know that. You think I'm going to hotwire a plane and fly around without a license? Man, that would be stupid and dangerous. Well, Uncle Red, you know, you know I never stop you from doing your crazy things. That could be part of the problem. Well, exactly, yeah. exactly. And I know you don't mean to poison our atmosphere and defoliate the trees and end life as we know it. Not when you put it that way. Okay, no. so let's not fire off the cannon. Let's do the smart thing. All right, Harold. All right. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, well, that's yeah. good. Yeah. All right, because you know, it might rain on its own anyway. It might rain. You know, you know what? what? Let's check it out on the Weather Channel. No, Harold, no, Harold, Harold. <sighs> okay, um, trying to seed the clouds with my homemade cannon uh, was not a complete success. <laughs> Um, instead of a fine dispersal pattern, the chemicals kind of all glom together and 
then splashed right into Possum Lake like a giant pop rock. You know? <laughs> and then it started like frothing and bubbling and pop. I'll tell you, I haven't seen that much foam since Moose Thompson shaved his back. <laughs> I know. I've never seen the lake evaporate before. I know. It was like a giant bromo. Yeah. Fish were falling out of the sky. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. oh that's awful. <laughs> you should have seen the one that got away. <laughs> you know, Harold, think about this. There are people who live their whole lives and never see anything like that, though, huh? Huh? <laughs> I envy them. <laughs> Come on, Harold, look at the bright side. Hey, I mean, the lake will eventually ooze back into place. And meanwhile, we can get all our appliances and snowmobiles off the bottom. So, You know, Greg, you know sometimes when you make a mistake, yeah. but everything turns out hunky-dory? No, I know. This was not one of those times. This is hunks of dories. I know that. <laughs> no, it's, it's hunky-dory. What? Yeah, well, the foam, you know, it extinguished all the forest fires. You're kidding. Yeah, well, the concussion, you know, from the cannon being triggered off. Yeah. Yeah, will it cause this atmospheric reaction? Yeah. Apparently, it's raining in Port Asbestos, and it's heading this way. <laughs> hey, you know what that means, huh? That means that my idea and my ingenuity and my instinct to do something crazy has once again saved the day, huh? <laughs> Period. Me? You're the one who fired the cannon. Yeah, that, that was an accident. Accidents happen. Just ask your parents. <laughs> Meeting time. Well, where you go then? Oh boy. Wow. Okay, if my wife is watching, I'll be coming straight home after the meeting. I'm kind of on a roll, so I'm thinking maybe we should do something crazy, huh? Let's try to stay up till 10 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Not quite sure how we'll fill in the time, but I'm hoping my medication will help me think of something. <laughs> and to the rest of you, thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and Harold and the whole gang up here at Boston Lodge, keep your stick on the ice. Everybody sit down. All rise. Bow your heads for the man's prayer. I'm a man, and I like to change. change. I have to. I, have to. I, I guess. guess. All right, men. Apparently, Harold has an announcement of some kind. Uh -huh. Well, now it seems the drought is over, so you should all stop drinking beer. Good.